Hey everyone, Dandelion Princess here, and welcome back to Imp Headquarters, where I talk about anything and everything to do with Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel. Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new episode of Hell of a Boss, Season 2, Episode 2, Seeing Stars. I was super excited for this episode to come out. Not only because it's my first new episode since I got into the series, but because it's the first episode that I'm able to review here on the channel. Before I get too into the video, of course, I do want to say there are going to be major spoilers to the episode. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely go do that. I will leave a link to the episode in the description. Moving on to the episode, we start off with seeing a very excited Octavia, which was honestly really cool to see. Stolas is stuck to his guns about divorcing Stella, which is awesome to see. Stolas may be one of my favorite parts of this episode, just seeing this whole other side of him. This more sassy Stolas that actually speaks his mind and stands up for himself. Him actually having a bit of a backbone is going to make his arguments with Stella even more hilarious going forward in the series. And we 100% got proof of that. What? No, I'm not turning her against you. You're... Yes, Stella! Dad, this is going to be done before tonight, right? What? Oh, I hardly think so. Knowing your mother, this will take all weekend. Don't be gentle about it now. Break whatever you have to to get it all in there. What? What did you just tell them to do? But tonight, we're supposed to... Darling, can we not talk about this now? Your mother's being a real B-I-T-C-H. Well, how was I supposed to know you can spell? I've never seen you read! But I love that he even sticks up for himself with Blitz. Seeing their dynamic change in this episode was actually really interesting. You can't memorize your fucking spells? Oh, your memory's so great? What's his phone number? Fuck you. Exactly. I know a lot of people didn't like the fact that they just kind of brushed what happened at Ozzy's under the rug, but it makes sense for multiple reasons. One, with everything else going on and trying to find Octavia after she runs away and ends up in LA, it's not really the time nor the place for Stolas to have this talk with Blitz. Secondly, it makes sense for both of these characters to do this. Blitz always ignores his problems. And for him, their fight wasn't even that big of a deal. He didn't cut off their arrangements or anything like that. People seem to blow their argument out of proportion a lot. But Blitz simply had a emotionally charged a night and Stolas implying that there was more to their relationship than the physical side was just the point that pushed him over the edge. For him, their arrangement has not changed. It's a little awkward now, sure, but nothing outside of that. Stolas, on the other hand, is the one who had more of the grand epiphany that Blitz doesn't care about him outside of his grimoire. Of course, we know that's not the case, but Stolas doesn't. Obviously, Stolas knows things need to change, but he doesn't want to lose Blitz. No matter what he does or says, he knows it could result in that happening. So at the very least, he's going to go about it in the best possible way that he can. And if he is going to give Blitz an Asmodeus crystal like a lot of fans think he's going to, he's definitely going to wait until he has that. Which he probably doesn't at this point since he's been very caught up in his divorce with Stella. So much so that he even forgot his promise to Octavia. So come on, you guys. He, he didn't even know this whole thing with Octavia was going to happen. He was not prepared to see Blitz or talk to Blitz. Finally, from a storytelling aspect, I do like what they're going for here. They want to show these two actually get to know each other a little bit more and get closer outside of their arrangement. Having Stolas come on many missions with them makes sense, and isolating him and Blitz also makes sense. I actually think it's really cool that Blitz and Stolas got to see a little bit of each other's insecurities, and seeing them actually be supportive of each other. Are they perfect at it? No. Especially from Stolas's end, this is the first time he's kind of 
been in these kind of situations. He doesn't know how to be in a legitimate relationship. So yeah, when he goes to Comfort Blitz, he does the only thing he knows how to do, which is to make it sexual. But these two did have legitimately cute moments in this episode. Like seeing that even all these years later, Stolas is still the only one who likes Blitz's sense of humor. Yeah, and then that bitch hit her head on the way down and shattered her skull. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. Peter Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, I think this episode is trying to set them up to be closer and enjoy it while it lasts because if they do have a falling out, we'll probably get at least a couple episodes where they don't interact at all. Also, after two emotionally charged episodes, yes, we can set that aside for a minute. Okay, I'm done ranting about them. Like I said, this has just been like the main point of contention for people with this episode. This episode gets emotional anyway, outside of Blitz and Stolas' relationship, and that's fine. Speaking of, I want to talk about my favorite moments in this episode. Seeing Blitz have a full-on PTSD moment was honestly heartbreaking, especially after seeing how he adopted Luna. I knew we would eventually get Luna backstory and I knew it would probably happen in this episode, but I just didn't think it would be framed this way. I really do have to shout out the direction for this episode, because they could have thrown Luna's backstory anywhere. And I'm sure that in another episode we'll get maybe some more details on it. But they really framed this in such a way for maximum effect. Honestly, I really felt bad for Blitz throughout this entire episode. First, he's worried about how Stolas is gonna react to Octavia running off with the Grimoire. Then he has to deal with this stupid sitcom situation and is super nervous to perform again, only to get his spirits lifted by seeing the audience actually laugh, but it's just staged. And then to top it all off, he gets some nice trauma with Luna. But while Blitz and Stolas are dealing with the sitcom issue, Luna is still out looking for Octavia, and eventually finds her. These two finally meeting has been such a long time coming, I feel like. And the scene that these two do have together really makes me hold this episode in a special place in my heart. Because, boy, is it a beautiful scene. Seeing both girls open up to each other, even though they're practically strangers, was just really heartwarming. And boy, do some of their lines hit hard. I absolutely relate to both Octavia and Luna, but I especially relate to what Luna says. Being basically raised by my dad most of my life, I've had to rely on him for everything. And yeah, he's not perfect, but no one is. Everybody's got issues, especially dads. And sometimes they fuck up. Well, all the time. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. <laughs> He's here? Looking for you. I mean, try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but He's trying. That's more important than you think. I honestly really love the symbolism this episode has with Luna's lighter. This is something that obviously was given to her by Blitz. And you can see it doesn't really work that well. Luna tries to force it to light, but it won't. But at the end of the day, it still does work. When she's calmer and just finesses it a little bit, the lighter lights. This obviously representing how Blitz doesn't always get things right, especially the first time. 
But his intentions are good, and he gets there in the end. Luna still has her issues and isn't able to fully open up to Blitz, but this scene really shows that she truly does care about him and appreciates everything he's done for her. She's just not ready to say it to him yet. And that's okay. Ending the episode with the four of them watching fireworks together was really great. And this was a really cute little family kind of moment for them. And now that Luna and Octavia are friends, it's going to make it harder for Blitz to cut off ties with Stoles completely. People have also complained about the pacing of this episode, saying that it was a bit too fast. But I would definitely counter that Hell of a Boss is a very fast-paced show, with so many blink-and-you'll-miss-it moments and jokes. If this episode feels different, it's probably just because the past two episodes have been slower and more emotionally charged. I thought Moxie and Millie were primarily fine in this episode. Look, as much as I love these two, it just wasn't their episode, alright? Honestly, I'm glad they were in it at all because they easily could have cut them entirely just like they did in Circus, but thankfully they didn't because, trust me, I don't think I could go more than one episode without seeing these two. And on top of that, I actually did really enjoy seeing a little bit of a sillier side to Moxie. He's always been a bit of a goofball, but he's very uptight and level-headed mostly. So seeing him completely blow off the task at hand was honestly kind of fun to see for once. I mean, come on, who, who doesn't love this? These artists put their heart and soul into their work. I can't just give it back like it's worthless. It probably is. Sick demon costume, man. It's metal as fuck. I have an idea. Whoa. Oh, hey, 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 come back here. Uh, I have an idea. Is this my absolute favorite episode? No, but I definitely argue that it's up there. And if nothing else, certain scenes from this episode are some of my favorite scenes in the series. It's a fun little episode setting up the friendship between Luna and Octavia, and showcasing how the dynamic between Blitz and Stolas is now changing. Overall, it was a pretty adorable episode. But I definitely want to know what you guys think. What were some of your favorite moments for the episode? And when do you think we'll see the next episode? My bet is around January or February. Let me know down in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel content. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.